Hello everyone, George Packard, Family Lawn and Landscape, and today I'm taking you along with me on a paver project, which is in a very tight area back in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a paver patio and a walkway that adjoins the patio. So follow me and let me show you. We kind of jumped the gun a little bit today. We started on the project. We've been battling rain and whatnot, and I jumped ahead of myself. We started tearing into it, and then I'm like, oh, we should make a movie about this. So anyway. We already started a little bit of work, but follow me. I'll show you what we're doing. Skid steer, beautiful piece of equipment. This is my new bitch. Love that bitch, by the way. So, job site trailer. Again, very tight area. Uh, you can kind of see here, there's not much room to move around. Uh, we, started, we started going in through here so soft we've had so much rain we're just destroying the lawn there is nothing I can do about that There's nothing so back in here is where our patio is going to be so this is going to be roughly a 20 by 24 patio it's going to go almost to that shed and then we're going to the homeowner just came out and said that they want us to put a little section of pavers in here so we're going to add that on. And then here's going to be our walkway that runs up all the way up to that shed. Okay? So that's the process. And the first thing you got to do is get in here without destroying anything and tear this stuff up. So get rid of the sod, get rid of the dirt, get down about six inches so I can get a nice base in here. So I want about six inches to play with. So over here is our job site trailer. One of our one of our job site trailers anyway. I'll show you what we have in here. Just because you probably never get to see this. I don't know. So in here, your typical, your rakes, measuring rule, your earmuffs. Always have a blower with us all the time because we're always blowing stuff off. We have some edging strips. We're going to need some more paint marking sticks, so we already measured it and marked things off. Of course, our gas can for uh, fueling things up. We have our big chop saw here, we use for cutting the brick when we need to. We have our mixed gas in this container. We have our laser stick here that we're going to use for measuring our base and our sub base and all of that good stuff. So that's what that is. Here is our polymeric paver sand that we're going to use um, on this project and that fills in between the joints. So in between the joints of your pavers and then you water it several times it turns it into a, kind of like a hard uh, mortar but not like concrete but it, it does get relatively hard. Sod cutter uh, we use for cutting up a little of that sod. We realized it was so wet in here that it was just ripping. So we thought, well, we might as well just come in with the mini skid steer and the big skid steer and get take care of it. Here's our compactor, more joint sand. Compactor, we use that for everything. We always bring another uh, saw blade with us. So in case this thing gets dull in the middle of a job, you guys have a backup. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the mini skid steer. We're gonna cut out that walkway and I'll use the big skid steer and cut out uh, our big paper patio over there, so let's get to it.
think that's about as good as we're going to get this right now. Um, got out everything I, I think I need out of there. So now we're just going to level it all off and then we're going to compact the sub base. So let's get to that. Okay guys, so if you can see this right here, this is clay. That's why it's constantly spongy like that. All of this is clay right here, this whole thing. It's getting a little harder as we get down. It's not so bad, but that's bad. That's got to come out. That just holds moisture and we can't have it. We got to get rid of that. So you can see by the hole that we're digging here, and I'm not even done digging yet. I gotta get all that out, I gotta get all this out. And it just seems like it's this section. All the rest of this is hard as a rock. So let's get this out. We'll get some more base material in here and we'll just keep moving. So that's the plan. We took out the clay, we raised this up. We have probably, I don't know, in spots, I mean there's five feet of uh, base material in there where the clay was. So. Now we've got it roughed in, what I call roughing it in. Now we put some stakes down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run a string line as soon as I take the laser and I shoot where I think this should be. So I guess what I'm gonna do is come over here and I'm gonna grab my laser. And grab my stick. Sound right, did it? <laughs> it's your mind, I swear to God, man. It's just a stick. This is the highest ground versus that area of those steps, that kind of all goes downhill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here at my highest spot because I can't have that, I can't start that low and then as I bridge to this, to this walkway, it can't come up. So I've gotta go from my highest spot and I've gotta work my way across from there. So I can't move this building, I have to deal with this building. So if I stay about an inch down from this building, that would be a good safe spot to be so if you mark that on the bottom this is where the bottom of my brick should be okay which means I got to dig out more of this subsoil because I got to get at least you know four or six inches of base in here so I got to dig this stuff out but that shows you where I want to be with my brick right so you there. see that bubble in there just turn this until you get that part level so now we know it's level this way now I gotta level it this way. So, can you see this cameraman? Can you see that? Okay, good. So I'm gonna bring that into level. Okay. Now they're both level. Press the little start button. It shoots that laser out. Now, we'll grab the thing. Which is here, I'll grab the laser, which is there, and now I've got to line it up on that line. I hope that thing reaches that far. It should. The battery's starting to get low on it. We'll find out in a second. Hmm. Let's see if you can see this or not. I think it's too far away. I think that's going to be our issue. Well, well. Bibbidi, bibbidi. Fix it up there. What if the ground's just too high here? Either the ground's too high or it's too weak. All right, I'm not to improvise. I know what to do. You know why I know what to do? Because I'm the man. Who's the man? Shaq. Damn right. So let's go over here. Let's set it back here instead. Boy, I bet you guys never thought you'd be watching such a long segment where I do absolutely nothing. But, if I had a better cameraman, I would be farther. I do not. So now I gotta re-level, as I put it here. Fire that bad boy up. Put this stuff out of the way. Now, now let's see if she'll pick it up. Okay. <clears throat> I know that wherever I go with this now, 
This is going to be the same level as what it's going to be by that door. So that's where my base has got to be. You can see the bottom of that stick and listen for it to level out. Right there is where the top of my base needs to be. So I've got to take quite a bit out of this. This is what I wanted to see how this is going to turn out. Right there. That's where my base is going to be. Right there is where the base is going to be. So that paver is going to come up right in here. So that's going to be that's going to be good. We're going to be in good shape there. Go over here. It is not going to reach that far. That we got to change batteries in that thing. So it does not range that far out. Turn it around. Don't tell me to turn it around. Maybe I'll just turn it around. Sorry. <laughs> That's where our base needs to be over here. Remember when I told you that was a lot higher over there? We're raising that and pavers are going to be up here. That's going to be about right. Okay, so now what you want to do, now that I'm comfortable with that, I've checked it, I know that we're going to be okay by the steps, we're going to be okay by that door, and we're going to be okay out here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand this up, and I'm going to put a mark underneath. I'm going to put a mark on the stake wherever this is. Here's a good example right here. I know this whole thing is level. Now, on this part, I'm going to pitch this. So when I make a mark on level here, I'm going to pitch this about an inch over there so that I make everything run away from the house. There's a garden over in that area. It's not going to hurt anything for the rainwater that comes down here to run into that garden. So you don't want it perfectly level because then uh, the water can just sit on there. So you want to pitch. So within 20 feet, I'm going to have a one inch pitch and pitch that stuff off. So that's what's up here. So in other words, when I make my mark here, wherever it is, well, it was right here. Maybe I'll turn it around. And that, that's in there. That's my spot, okay? So now, I know I'm gonna come in here with my base now. This is perfect. I've got about six, eight inches of base here. That's where I'm gonna be. When I go over that side, I'm gonna make the exact same mark, and then I'm gonna make a mark an inch lower. And when I run my string line, I'm gonna run it from this mark to the one that's an inch lower, so that my base is all tapered in that direction, so that when the pavers go on, once my base is leveled at that pitch, the pavers are also going to be at that pitch. It's only one inch, so it's very gradual. Not a big deal. So, okay. Let's get the mark in the rest of these bad boys. And Anyway, back to this. So look here. I'm just kidding. I didn't pick my nose. Not really. I always do. But you see this line that I have here? Can you see that line? Okay. Can you see what I'm about to do with this string? And I'm going to teach you guys a little knot that my dad showed me that works pretty good. So you put it on here roughly. Hold it like this. Flip it over your thumb. Push it back through the hole like this, and then just pull it tight, both hands, and then just slide it up. So when you go to take it off, just pull it, it comes right off. Okay, I'll show you again now. Pay attention this time. All right, very simple knot. Once you learn this knot, you'll use it your whole life for stuff, I swear to God. I do it all the time. Bring it back through the hole, push it tight, and you're good to go, okay? How many of you guys would like to see that one more time? Show of hands. Okay, I'll show you one more. All right. Just because there's so many of you that wanted to see it. Flip that over your thumb. Take this finger. Push it through the hole. And then move both hands back at the same time. There you go. I don't know what that knot's called, but so I'm going to call it Dad's Knot. How about that? Now... Because this is the stake that I couldn't see with the laser over there. So what I'm going to do is take this over here. And I can tie this, wrap this thing around here a little bit.
this is just for marking this one stick, so I don't need five million things to happen here. But then come back here and just hang it in the middle and see where we're at. Well, that's just about, boy, my eyes are awesome. That's almost right on the money. I moved it down just a hair. I think that would put us. Look at that. Close enough for government work, boys. How about that? So now I'm going to mark it right where I know that was level. That's my spot to work off of. So I can take this right off of here. This is just about perfect. I've got about six inches of base to put in, so that's awesome. Now I know where my mark is there. I'm going to drive another stake out there so I get my pitch, and then I'll have my pitch. Okay, well, we are uh, pretty much getting finished for the day because darkness is starting to come. So uh, I guess if we got done what we could get done in this day. I didn't expect to have that all that clay to dig out of there, but whatever. Done over with. I'm out of base material. I know I'm going to be short here a little bit, uh, a little here and there. Um, up in here looks good, but just. Down in there a little bit. We're about a couple inches short yet. And uh, all in all, though, I think it's turning out really well. So the patio will look cool once we get it together. I'm just going to compact this. We got some uh, rain clouds. Look like they're going to be setting in soon. So I'm going to start wrapping things up. I'm going to start putting away all their tools for the night. And we will attack this again tomorrow.